There are still no suspects in the Harvest Homecoming shooting that killed an 18 year old and injured two others. WDRB's Monica Harkin shows us as the community rallies behind the victim's family, police are still searching for the shooters. New Albany police believe the shooting happened near the YMCA on Main and State Street. Tuesday, we could see New Albany police officers in the parking lot continuing their investigation. A handful of officers could be seen looking at a nearby park bench, walking the YMCA parking lot, and evenly seemingly pointing to possible cameras on the side of the building. We asked New Albany's police chief if there was any video going to be released of Saturday night's shooting. We were told not at this time. The shooting seen Saturday a tragic ending to this year's Harvest Homecoming Festival that takes over downtown New Albany every year. And after like the first couple of shots, we all just kind of ran and I just kind of panicked. Police believe there was an argument between two groups that led to shots being fired. Three innocent bystanders were hit. A 22-year-old and 42-year-old were hurt. An 18-year-old Bryce Gerlock, a senior at Corridon Central High School, died. I never thought something like that would happen down there, to be honest. The New Albany and Corridon community showing their support for the victims. Sunday, with a candlelight vigil at the high school, and Tuesday, New Albany Bakery Rookies Cookies offered a portion of sales to benefit the families. It sold out its supply in about two hours. And in Corridon. He was coming in almost five times a week, it felt like. Gerlach was a regular at Rita's Taco Shop. Tuesday, the Mexican restaurant said every order of his favorite meal would benefit his family. We decided to do it for his family because it, it's not something you would ever think of to happen here in such a small town, too. And it's we love our community, so we do what we can to help. From benefits to meal trains and grocery collections, the community is stepping up to support the family. Gerlach's visitation is set for Thursday and Saturday in Corridon. Friday, his football team taking to the field in his honor on what would have been his senior night. New Albany police is still asking the community for more leads and tips as to what might have happened here Saturday night. In New Albany with photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, Monica Harkins, WDRP News.